Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix uh, this error right here, which is the user is not in the sudo s file. Uh, this usually happens when you try to execute a command that requires sudo privileges and uh, you find that you cannot execute the command. So as soon as I got that error, I dropped down into the terminal and um, I did groups to show all the groups that I that my user uh, belongs to. And uh, as you can see, the sudo group is not here. So that's why um, I was getting that error. What I did, actually, the way you fix this error is to boot into recovery mode. And for that, I'm going to do reboot. And as soon as the computer reboots, you have to be alert because you need to hold down the shift key in order to go into the uh, group menu and then go into recovery mode. So I'm doing this in a virtual machine, but if you're doing it in a, in a normal computer, it should be the same process. Okay, so here we go. I don't know if it's uh, big enough and the, resolu and the resolution would allow you to see the, uh, the menu. Uh, but basically, once you press Shift key and uh, get into the group menu, <clears throat> what you want to go is to do uh, down arrow key and go into Advanced Options, and then press Enter. And once you go into Advanced Option, press the down arrow key one more time, and then go into Recovery Mode. It says Recovery Mode here. Press Enter. Okay, so once you boot into recovery mode, then press the down arrow key until you select root and press enter. Now, press enter one more time to go into maintenance. And what we need to do now is to mount the file system. So I'm going to say mount, read write, comma, remount, and then forward slash. Okay, I missed the O option. So I'm going to recall the previous command, minus O, press enter, and now it worked. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to add the uh, our username into the pseudo group. So we're going to say, add user, your username, pseudo, and press enter. So that is the first option. Uh, the second thing that we can do is to change the uh, the permission for the sudoers file group. And so I'm going to say shmod 0440, and then it's see sudoers, and press enter. And uh, the next thing is to go into the sudoers file and make sure that uh, all the configuration and settings are correct. So I'm going to say vi hc sudoers, press enter, and I'm going to press the J key so I can scroll down. And uh, I want to make sure that I have this root all all settings, and I have this admin all all settings, and also the sudo. And so next I'm going to I'll do column Q and exit. Go back into the recovery menu and hit enter to resume booting the computer. All right, so once the computer boots, go ahead and go and open the terminal and do groups. And notice now that the sudo group is back into our list of groups, and uh, I'm going to do sudo vi it's the fs tab, and now we can open a file that requires sudo privileges. And that's it for this video. As always, remember to subscribe, give it a like, and see you in the next video.